Real well, real well. Busy, of course, this time of the year, and even more so with Urban Meyer, but uh, uh, it's, it's going great. You have to really enjoy this time of year, though. we got two weeks till signing day from today. This is really crunch time. It, it is. It's getting down to uh, the last uh, last couple of weeks and the, the last few scholarships uh, that Ohio State has to give out, so it's, it's exciting. We've heard from a lot of people, uh, both people like me who know very little about recruiting and people like you who know a lot about recruiting, about Urban Meyer and the great job he's doing. Put it into words for us, though. He's been on the job a little less than two months. What has Urban Meyer done that's been so impressive? Well, I, you know, I don't know if I could overstate uh, – the impact that Urban Meyer's made on high state recruiting and but not just Urban Meyer, you know, he's he's brought in some good very good coaches, very good uh uh people in his in his, you know, office people. And he's retained some very good coaches to high state staff. So, um, you know, Urban Meyer's certainly been huge and I couldn't overstate that, but also the coaches that have come in have have just done a great job. They've really worked recruiting hard and um, you know, they've gotten in touch with the right prospects and and they've they've really struck it up well with them and uh it's it's really been great for Ohio State. For someone like me, it's been interesting because recruiting is so much about relationships that you have to kind of follow when these guys are a little younger with their coaches and with them and then with the universities as well. And then you add in the bowl ban this coming season, which I know is not going to have a drastic effect on, you know, the 2012 class, but a lot of negative publicity this last year about Ohio State. And here he is getting all kinds of guys to virtually sign on the dotted line. Yeah, you know, the bowl ban, I, I, certainly when that when things got rolling, uh, there was it was anticipated there was not going to be a bowl ban. Um, and, and that helped. To get things rolling, you know, you got Urban Meyer coming in. You're thinking there's not going to be a bull ban, and all that was great. Uh, I did expect a little more backlash, uh, perhaps, when the when the one year bull ban was announced. But really, um, you know, Meyer and his staff have done a great job of downplaying that and selling Ohio State and and selling the product they have. And it really hasn't been much of a factor um, with recruits. And that's you know certainly for Ohio State, that's a huge positive. Bucknuts.com recruiting analyst Bill Kurlick, our guest here via the Subway Fresh Take Hotline 97 won the fan. One of the interesting stories that's played out over the last few weeks is Urban and his assistant coaches getting guys who were committed to other schools to, to flip to Ohio State. A, a pretty common practice, I guess, in the recruiting circles, but, man, he's been doing it a lot lately. Well, it does happen, but uh, to the extent that Ohio State and uh, Urban Meyer have been successful, it doesn't happen that way very often. I mean, uh, you know, they, they've flipped. Uh, not only some prospects, but some great prospects. You know, uh, Savon Pittman from Michigan State to Ohio State. You've got Tommy Shutt from Penn State to Ohio State. You know, those were, were two huge ones. And uh, Vandalia Butler, offensive lineman Taylor Decker from Notre Dame to Ohio State. That was that was really big. So, you know, to the extent that uh, he's been able to get prospects. Uh, not just a flip, but great prospects to, to switch to Ohio State. It's really, really been impressive. All right, let me ask you about some of these early enrollees. I think there's a few guys for this class of 2012 who may already be on campus. Are you familiar with them, and what can you tell us about those guys? Yeah, there's a half dozen of them that are on campus now, and it's certainly that's a great way to get a head start on, on their careers at Ohio State. And then they get to go through spring practice. And uh, you know, you've got guys like Cardell Jones and um, uh, Michael Thomas from Fork Union Military Academy that, that have already started and Jacoby Boren uh, from from Pickerington that's already started. Um, Josh Perry from Olin Tangy. So you've got a half dozen of them that have already started their classes. And then there's a couple more that will be coming in for spring quarter. So um, uh, to have eight prospects uh, uh, that are starting their careers early at Ohio State, it's going to help Ohio State with their depth come the spring. And it's also going to help uh, uh, the prospects and, and the program in general because uh, the high state coaches can take a look at them and see exactly what they got at an earlier point. And get them to more acclimated, I guess, with the program, the weight training, the conditioning. That I know all these high school guys get, you know, sheets in the mail of what they should be doing, but when they have a, a college strength coach actually overseeing it, it's got to help a lot. Oh, yeah. And you can't, you can't overestimate that they get a start on their academics, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, the, the move to college life is not always an easy adjustment for 18 year old kids. So uh, that uh, uh, getting you know acclimated not only to the football end of it, but the academics is huge as well. Signing day a couple weeks weeks away. Uh, Bucknuts dot com a great place to check it out with recruiting analyst Bill Kurlick, who joins us here on ninety seven one The Fan. Let me mention a couple names at the top of the list. Uh, Noah Spence is a guy who's a lot of people have heard of after that Under Armour All American game a couple weeks ago. Five star defensive lineman. What can you tell us about him and and what makes him sp- such a special uh, get in this class? Well, you know, had Urban Meyer not taken over 
I, I am pretty confident in saying that Noah Spence would not even have made an official visit to Ohio State, let alone end up as a Buckeye. So, you know, that was a real coup. He's the number one weak side defensive end in the country. Uh, he had great speed off the edge. You know, he's, he's uh, just very difficult to block. And Ohio State the last year, year or so has kind of struggled with the pass rush, at least uh, uh, without bringing extra people. And, and Noah Spence is one of those kind of guys that uh, you may not need to bring extra people because he's such a good pass rusher. Another guy on the defensive line, I very highly touted, is this Adolphus Washington. What can you tell us about him? Well, I've known Adolphus since uh, he was about in eighth grade. Um, uh, I first saw him on the AAU basketball scene when, when I was coaching uh, against his all-Ohio purple team. And I, <laughs> I looked at this kid, and I thought, oh, my goodness. This, he was a man among boys in those days, and it hasn't really changed much now that he's a senior in high school. You know, he's six foot four and a half, uh, 254 pounds. But um, the thing that impresses me most with him is his ability to run players down i watched him at uh at camps and you know, he he would run down running backs in drills and it's just impressive that someone that big moves as well as he does bill Curlick, bucknuts.com recruit and analyst joins us here on 97 won the fan uh, a lot of other verbal commitments to ohio state give me another name or two who you think fans will be interested in who may come in and, and have an impact in their first year or, or at least pretty quickly well, uh, you, you named two two key ones there in uh, Adolphus Washington and Noah Spence. Certainly, you know the, the, those guys have the physical talent to adjust to to college life very quickly, and uh, I should say college football very quickly. So, you know that that's a good starting point. Kids that are going to make an impact quickly. You, you've always got to look at you know what does a team need you know if there's not an opening right away it's going to be tough mm-hmm. but uh Briante dunn is another one of those kids that has enrolled early and um yeah he, he's 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 really a, a physical specimen that i think it will have a chance to play quickly at ohio state i would not rule out warren ball even though he has not ruled enrolled early he's just an you know he's got a college body already he's, he's well chiseled and just a great prospect that i think could could come in and uh you know state his case pretty quickly at ohio state so uh, uh, those two, and of course, uh, uh, you look at Josh Perry, an outstanding athlete. He's getting that head start by enrolling early. So I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't doubt that he could make an impact, too, as well. What do you expect from Urban and Ohio State over the next couple of weeks leading up to signing day? Well, right now, they, uh, they have 22 commitments. they got linebacker David Perkins, who made an official visit this past weekend. That took them to 22. You know, they, they want to add another offensive tackle. they got Taylor Decker. And um, then they got Joey O'Connor, who's a guard out of Colorado that committed. Uh, but they want to add another offensive tackle. They're targeting uh, Jordan Diamond and Kyle Dotson. I think the most likely of the two is Jordan Diamond, but they want to add an offensive tackle. Uh, that they, they want to add another linebacker. Cameron Williams is visiting Ohio State right now. He's out of the state of Massachusetts. He's another kid that could flip. He's committed to Penn State, but visiting Ohio State right now. His teammate, Cornerback Armani Reeves is also visiting High State right now. That's another kid to look at as far as potentially flipping from Penn State to Ohio State. So those names, High State would like to add a safety to the class. Demetrius Cox out of Pennsylvania and um, Bam Bradley out of the Dayton area are, are their two targets. And then finally they want to add a playmaker. Devontae Neal out of Arizona is the guy that they would really like to have, and certainly that's a name to keep in mind, especially because he's originally from Akron. Bucknuts.com recruiting guru uh, Bill Kerlick, our guest here, 97 won the fan via the Subway Fresh Day call. And obviously more recruiting information that you have on that website and with what you do than, than we have time for during our short interview segment. So where can people find more information? Well, they can subscribe to my publication. Just give me a call at uh, 740-548-4814, and uh, uh, people can subscribe and get our uh, issue for this month and our issue for next month, as well as all nine issues for next season for the the price of uh, a regular price of $39. So just give us a call at 740-548. 4814, and you can subscribe with your MasterCard or Visa to Ohio Football Recruiting News, and visit us at bucknuts.com as well. And if for any reason they didn't catch that number, they're in the car now, send me an email, send me a tweet, we'll get you the number. I got it here as well. Bill, we appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the next two weeks of craziness. We'll hopefully talk to you soon. Hey, thanks. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.